When God said not to idolize a false god, he didn't mean a different god, because a different god would be a version of him, and the idea of that god would also be him, and the person thinking the idea of that other god all would be him. So all he meant is don't create things to idolize at all. Don't have religion. You're not supposed to have religion at all. There shouldn't be anything. We should all just, if you need something to praise or worship, worship the life source. Call it that instead of God if you have to. But if you call it God, realize that God is the life source. God is everything. So just worship everything in all shapes, in all forms. That's what he meant. Don't idolize a false god means if you think God is ever powerful and omni like omnipresent, whatever, he's like the most powerful thing. If that's what you believe, that he is everything, which he is, and if you do believe that, then you're doing yourself harm by going to church and thinking you should follow religion. I know that most people are going to tell you otherwise, but that's because they don't want to lose the money that they're getting. And, you know, being people, we all want our things, and that's understandable that we want our things. And in order to get it, they can go off this idea that they've been making this money off of. And, you know, they learn from a book, and they learn from their parents who learn from a book, and they learn from some people who were told some things or had some funny feelings and thought maybe this was how it was. But it's all just passed down stuff. But instead of looking in books and going to a church and trying to find something that's going to give you that feeling of you understand things, go inside yourself and really ask and listen until you find the answer. And when you do, you'll agree with me 100%. I love you.